Yo, what's good? What is everybody? Welcome back to A1 Who Zone. Back at y'all another one, man. But before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Also, hey, man, make sure you stay tuned for the entirety of this video, man. We're going to get the NBA play-in tournament predictions today. We got two games today. We got the Atlanta Hawks versus the Miami Heat and the Timberwolves versus the Lakers, man. Let's dive into this joint here, man. So right off the bat, we're going to start with the East. Uh, first game up for the day, man, the earliest one. We got the Heat versus the Hawks. You got the Heat in the seven seed, Hawks in the eight seed. Uh, man, tough matchup in the East, man. This is a this is a 50-50 game. It's definitely a pick game. Why is that? Um, both teams have the ability to get hot, man. When they get hot, uh, it, it, it can go either way. They got scores on both sides of the ball that can put up huge numbers. Obviously, Miami got Jimmy Butler, you know what I'm saying, the leader of that team. Kyle Lowry, the old savvy vet. You got Bam on the bottle, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the young dynamic big. Uh, then you got Tyler Hero, you know what I'm saying, who, who who definitely is one of those people that can get hot and put in score. You know what I'm saying? He can heat up quick, too. Um, so this team this team is well balanced from that perspective, man. They got some tough, you know what I'm saying, gritty players that come off the bench. You know, Oladipo, Martin, uh, this, this team, they, they get after it, man. They, they're they're built to, to be able to defend at the highest level and, and score the best of them. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that, man. On the, on the Hawks side of things, obviously, we all know Trey – uh, Trey Young leads the charge there. Right behind him is DeJounte Murray. So you got a dynamic backcourt between those two. Again, man, one of those situations where it's polar opposites. One of them is a, a extremely speedy, small guard that can shoot, you know what I mean, uh, from anywhere pretty much when you cross half court uh, and, and definitely can drop the teardrop. And, and, and one of those – that's a dynamic playmaker. On the flip side of that, you got, got Murray, a bigger, lengthy, longer guard, still extremely quick, explosive, uh, definitely has worked on his shooting as well, so he can definitely knock down shots. But he's more of a mid-range or attack-the-basket type guard. He obviously – uh, can pass the ball extremely well. Uh, definitely a better defender than Trey Young. So you get a, 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 a dynamic pouring guard that can push push the tempo at any given moment. You know what I mean? Obviously, you got your rim runner and Collins. Um, you know what I'm saying? They got uh, Bogdan is still there. So, again, this team has some hitters there, man. Um, so I, I like the chances. It, it should be an extremely good game, and I can't wait to watch it. Um, but for predictions, man, I won't bore you out too much longer on that joint. Who do I have winning this game? Uh, man, I think I'm a rock out the Miami Heat. Uh, I, I think – uh, Jimmy understands what it, what it takes to win in the game or a game of that magnitude. I think he's going to show up and show up big, and his team is going to follow suit. Again, they're led by they they have a veteran core group, so they knows what it takes. Uh, and the only thing is that you know, send this Atlanta Hawks team. They've definitely upset you know upset the Apple Card a couple times as well before. So again, man, um, it, it's a it's a fifty fifty game, but I'm gonna rock out the heat on this one, man. So we we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Next up after that. We're going to hop on over to the West. we got my 7C Lakers uh, versus the 8C Timberwolves. Um, we're going to have to see some, man. This game is very, very intriguing and interesting. Why is that? It seems like the Timberwolves always get up, you know what I'm saying, for, 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 the, uh, for the Lakers, especially when it comes to a Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards. And they, they play the Lakers extremely tough. Um, obviously, with Rudy Gobert being out, people are saying, you know, oh, that's a big hit. Uh, they're going to miss his presence. I disagree. I feel like they, they play um, better without him. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like Nas Reed is a better fit for a big. Uh, obviously, he's a stretch big. He can shoot um, shoot from anywhere on the floor. Uh, definitely is a rim protector, rim runner as well. Big body that's quick. Um, you know, he's one of those players where, again, man, it, it's, it's tough for a team to deal with somebody like that, especially somebody who can, who's, again, a dynamic scorer, dynamic shooter. Um, can 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 do a lot, and so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, you know what I mean? But again, I think Reed adds more to the team than than um than Rudy Gobert does. I feel like Rudy Gobert kind of minimizes that team to some degree. Obviously, he can um you know what I'm saying protect the rim, rebound, but when it comes to offensive scoring and things of that nature, man, it's not not much he really offers. So uh, I would say from that perspective, that they're definitely better off without him, uh, more so particularly for this team. So. Um, but again, I expect a big game from Cat Anthony Edwards too. Um, the the also the other I would say big notable call out is that McDaniel's is out due to he broke his hand. So again, that's one of the defenders that gave LeBron a lot of fits. So uh, who are they going to throw on LeBron? Are you going to throw you know Santorian Prince on him? Are you going to throw uh, Anthony Edwards? You know what I mean? That's going to take away from his offensive side of things if you do. So it, very intriguing. But uh, one other big call out that a lot of people may be missing, man, is, is Mike Conley. You know what I mean? Quick, speedy guard that can shoot as well. So it's like, what is he going to bring to the table? If he shows them, shows up big, man, that could be trouble. You know what I'm saying? Spell trouble for my Lakers. But again, 
they could take it also take advantage of the mismatch, you know what I'm saying, on the side on the side of the fact that he, you know what I'm saying, he's a he is a small guard. So Again, man, both of these things can go either way. But who do I have winning this game, man? I ain't going to bore y'all too much longer with that. Uh, I got the Lakers winning this one, man. I got my team rocking out, showing up big. I feel like, uh, you know what I'm saying, Mike Beasley, uh, Malik Beasley, uh, Vanderbilt, and D'Angelo Russell are going to look to get some get back against the Wolves. Uh, obviously, LeBron's going to go out there and showcase what he does. And I need Anthony Edwards to show up and play as if uh, – not Anthony Edwards. I need, I need Anthony Davis to show up and play – um, like he is a top five player in his league, you know what I mean? But for some reason, it seems like he always has trouble against the Timberwolves, though. So uh, we'll definitely have to see. But uh, again, man, I got, that's why I got winning this game, and, and I expect it to be a great game, and I can't wait to see it. But that's all I got for you, man. I appreciate you stopping through. Make sure you hit that like button, sub to the channel if you're new. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of y'all. And if you wish to support the channel, that information is scrolling at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the description of the video. Again, I appreciate you stopping through. Now, I'll catch you on another one, man.